Spotfire as a BI organization. We term Spotfire as a BI business intelligence tool. Okay. Out of the three verticals of business intelligence, primarily uh, integration services, reporting services, and uh, analytical services, the Spotfire fits under uh, reporting and uh, reporting services. Okay. So any for any organization, BI uh, business intelligence plays a very important role. It enables uh, companies' own data to be completely utilized for its own benefit so that uh, it can stay in the competition from its uh, competitors and also it enables uh, an organization, business intelligence in particular enables an organization to grow in future, to expand itself, okay, allowing the organization process to make uh, wise decisions and the predict future analysis, future, th future uh, challenges they're going to face. So uh, this is how we define BI, a business intelligence uh, for any organization. Fine. So keeping this business definition apart, if we have to technically drive a business intelligence. So business intelligence uh, is nothing but uh, we gather data in the different forms within an organization or if it has to be outside of the organization, irrespective of whatever the form the data is in. When I say uh, the different forms of data, it can be can be there in as, la as simple as in a text file or an Excel file to as complex as a SAP system, an ERP system. So irrespective of where the data is, we gather all this data of an organization and then we take that into a single place, a single place, a single source of truth, to create a single source of truth. So this single place can be termed as a data warehouse or a data mart or a ODS operational data center or a data, or a data center simply. So here while uh, migrating this data, the integration services, the integration services vertical of BA business intelligence, the first part comes into play. So the integration services enable us to gather this data and put it into one place. Okay, fine. So once we have data here, the next vertical of the BI starts, that is reporting this data, making it useful for the client. So here we have various uh, methods and technologies uh, which we can leverage to get the best visualization, the best representation of the data. So this is a reporting session of uh, reporting part of business intelligence. So once we have reports in place and uh, data can be analyzed or viewed by the client, then the next advanced part of business intelligence that is analysis. So stuff like uh, mining data and then uh, aggregating data into OLAP cubes, cubes or uh, aggregation tables. Then with this we go to the next level of uh, cleansing data and then uh, getting patterns out of data. So this is analysis services. Now where does, uh, th these are the three, so to put it into one line, uh, the, so these are the three components of a business, uh, namely uh, integration services, reporting services and uh, analysis services. Where does uh, Spotfire uh, fit into these three? So Spotfire is a, Spotfire fits under this reporting vertical, so it's a reporting tool. But uh, can we call Spotfire as just a reporting tool like uh, SSRS? SSRS is a uh, reporting tool from MSBI, Microsoft Business Intelligence. And uh, the other uh, similar tool we have here is MicroStrategy, which is also a reporting tool from MicroStrategy organization. Okay. So can we call Spotfire as just a reporting tool like this SSRS and MicroStrategy? No. So the answer is definitely no. Spotfire is just not a reporting tool. It is uh, more than that. So if you have to define a Spotfire, so the, my best definition would be Spotfire is a statistical tool with analytical capabilities built on in-memory engine, built with uh, in-memory architecture. Okay. Okay, now uh, sure we will understand uh, why we have termed it as a statistical tool and what our uh, analytical capabilities it has and what is that in-memory architecture. Okay, so we can't complete Spotify definition without uh, using these three terminologies. Okay, statistical, analytical and in-memory architecture. Okay, so let's talk about uh, statistical capabilities. Okay, so statistical capabilities, so to start with statistics, Statistics is, uh, if you have to define statistics, uh, it is nothing but uh, gathering data and then perceiving it and then representing it. Representing it in a much advanced, ranging from basic to the advanced, so that uh, user can make 
a correlation correlation among the entities may be similar or uh, dissimilar entities and then find patterns among the data so this uh, statistics is not new in the industry so it's there right from the evolution of mathematics but these tools now make it more simpler the statistical concepts where uh, user, the developer or the end user may not have to actually know the all the principles of the statistics uh, he's gonna view but still with the capabilities of the tool and the flexibility we can very much evolve the statistical graphs with much ease and minimal knowledge of the statistical concepts okay so you see this first two graphs uh, you can see the minimize movement okay these two are uh, scatter plots, scatter plots in general called and the, which are very much supported by Spotify tool. So this is a representation of uh, our data points scattered across the panel X and Y. Okay, so you see the pattern here. Uh, I can see that there is a standard declination in the trend. So this is something which I am not getting as a single line by the data itself. So here I am drawing a conclusion that there I see a decline. So this line is generated virtually. This is not directly generated by the data. This is something using statistics we create this line. Okay. And the red spots you see, those are the actual data. The actual data being uh, scattered here in this pane. Okay. So the next graph you see where we don't, we didn't draw a line. We are leaving it to the client or the customer to decide. Decide. So here we have represented the data points scattered. Okay, so this will give us a thought, a impression that there is an at a very top level the graph has started, and then then onwards it started declining, declining to a point, and from there it again started inclining. Okay, so the point where uh, we see inclination and declination meet, there we have a lot of density. Okay, so it means for most of the time the data patterns uh, remained at the bottom bottom of my complete uh, incline to incline curvature this is something a statistical terminology which uh, if we have to do on paper uh, takes a lot of uh, efforts with uh, advent of the tools uh, all we have to have is uh, data in place for this and then we are just ready uh, to go and show it on the spot five windows okay so another uh, statistical representation of data so here uh, are you back uh, where what is our thing so as I told you the definition of a spot fire, if I have to precisely define a spot fire tool it is a statistical analytical tool with in memory architecture so I am covering the statistical features okay uh, the statistical features of uh, spot fair. There are many statistical graphs which we will be covering uh, inside uh, as we progress in our course. But this is one of the interesting uh, statistical representation which I want to bring up front so that uh, you will have an idea of how this tool is going to be, how advanced it's going to be. Okay, this tool. Okay. This is called a heat map. So here uh, there, are, there are two primary dimensions which we have to see. Okay. So here you see the tile representation. So these are nothing but tiles, California. Is it a tree it. map or a heat map? It's a tree map. I will tell you why I called it as a heat map. Okay. So this is a tile representation. So here we are having this uh, map with uh, uh, with the population and then the mortality rate. Mortality rate, uh, the birth uh, survival of the birth rate. Okay, the people who live for a long term. Okay. So the higher the tile, the, the bigger the tile, the more the population is. So you see this California has more population. Okay. Miami has little less population. So the more the uh, size of the tile, the higher the population. And then we have uh, mortality rate. So mortality rate, uh, so if you see this legend, so the, the bright red, more the bright red, the higher the mortality rate and towards the blue we have less mortality rate. People die at the age of 36 only here. We have people live at still 75. Okay. So if we see uh, New Mexico, New Mexico got high mortality rate. Okay. 
but the population is less because the tile is small but the color is bright red which means the morality is more. if you see florida it has somewhat uh, average population and uh, average mortality rate is because the tile compared to the overall sizes it is medium and the color density we see it's somewhat standing with the middle okay so this is uh, how we study this graph and this is we are doing two kinds of studies to different uh, entities here if you see uh, this is our statistics okay the, uh, one is uh, population which is one entity and uh, mortality rate in other entity which don't have a correlation between we, we don't have direct relation between them but this graph is being a correlation and uh, giving the end user control to compare these two in one graph with very easiness okay and make decisions okay so i have california i have a uh, huge populated state california where uh, the pop, uh, mortality rate is not very high okay so should i have to take medical take two decisions one is i have to control the population okay and the second thing is i have to improve the health situations or uh, health uh, situations of the population by investing on the healthcare okay so these two decisions i i could have made very easily with this uh, representation okay so how the tools used to be before the advent of uh, this analytical tools uh, the traditional reporting tools we have two diamond uh, ssrs or uh, micro strategy so these uh, were uh, very much uh, tabulistic representation of the data maybe here and there uh, bars and the pies but mostly they used to assist day to day operations of an organization the day to day operations like uh, floor supervisation or inventory control or stock control or uh, do accounting of the production of an uh, unit okay so they were more like a static representation of the data but over ages as uh, bi is evolving the reporting part is also evolving along in it, in it. Uh, from the two dimensional representation of data uh, we have uh, now got into a much advanced analytical platform so no no more we can call this as the reporting platforms color is a mortality here uh, and uh, size is a population and uh, this is uh, if you can see there is a third dimension also that is a uh, region so this graph is uh, completely divided by region so you see uh, south antarctic uh, specific north new england modern atlantica east asia atlantica okay so this is uh, divided by regions so like this we have now multiple dimensions at a time so this is how uh, this is where i am comparing uh, the uh, traditional approach of representation uh, where we have uh, table graphs or bar graphs or pie graphs Uh, compared to the statistical graphs the you know the more uh, accurate uh, advanced statistical graphs now so th this is a evolution of uh, reporting from analytics so no, no more we have to call them as reporting we it has to be called as analytical tools okay